hi and welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to connect power bi to your database in postgres sql in the previous video we actually installed and configured postgres sql which is what i have right here and we added the database which is practice then we we'll restore a database called pagila pagila is a similar database to sakila <laughs> okay so let me just put it this way when you install database they often come with some sample data set in microsoft sql server you have adventure works that's a common database you can actually restore it in my sql database you talked about sakila sakila data and in postgres sakila is a copy of uh, I mean, Pagila in Postgres, which is a copy of Sakila. Almost everything you have on Sakila is the same thing you have in Postgres, uh, which is Pagila. And I have all the tables right here with me. And I can write against, I can write query against any of them. For example, say select, just want to select everything from which of this table, let's say customer. From customer, then I can actually run it here. Okay, this is it. I can limit this. I can say limit, limit 10. So that may be the first 10 that I want to select. Right here, these are the top 10. Okay, we are not here to write SQL. We're actually here to connect Power BI to this. And when we also install this, you have password that you created. So don't forget about you need it. Now, the question is, okay, to Power BI, how do you then connect? Go to get data right here and select more. You see all these list then just click on database so that you can have a selection of filter by for all only databases then you can see postgres sql so click on it and click on that it's going to request that you put server so in your organization there must be a server or an ip address that you have to connect to but if you install this on your system your server is local host and for password uh, for database you might not put in database it's going to read all the databases there so um, depending on your connectivity, do you want to import or direct query? Import method means once you load any data here, it takes all the data from database and import them into Power BI. And the advantage is that your report will be made a, a bit faster because the data is within the Power BI data set uh, environment. Meanwhile, for direct query, is writing live query against the database. The disadvantage of import is when there's a new data in that database, you have to refresh before you can capture it but direct query actually write against it so it feed almost immediately when you are opening your report it just connect again and feed those data all right so i'm going to click on okay okay actually database is required is required so i have this which is called practice and that's the name of our database practice that's what we have here practice okay so back here to power bi i'm going to click on okay it's going to request that i put in my login details the username is actually post grace in case you are wondering you know what was the username right here when i came in when i launched this project you're going to see practice i'm using post grace to log in right here at the top here you see i'm using post grace so that's just easier way for you to identify the user that's post grace here okay then come back here post grace my password I'm going to put my password right now Okay, now I'm going to click on connect. Okay, click on OK. It's actually straightforward and simple. So we've connected to Pagila. I mean, that is what I call practice. And right here, you can see the tables, you can see the views. I'm just going to load in some tables, actor, address, you know, city, country, customer, theme. Okay, let's just click OK. Or you want to transform them, you can click on transform data. And that takes you to Power Query, which I have right here with me. Before transforming your data, you might even want to do some brief, you know, view, uh, column distribution, column profile, you know, column quality to see missing values, the errors, you know, and this alone just helps you to have a glance of each of those columns as you are clicking on them you are seeing the different uh, analysis around each of those columns all right so um assuming we are done so i'm going to go back to home and say close and apply so just click on it it starts running query to establish connection with the database and to load in the data establishing this connection loading the actually is downloading it could be that fast 
So what I then have is all the tables that I've selected, I have them here. I can go to here, the table view, and see each of those tables one by one. And I mean, the next set of training tutorial will be how do we then analyze it. Uh, remember, it has to start with business value. What exactly is the problem? It's not just to go to that data. So in the subsequent videos, we're going to demonstrate how to start building reports using Power BI. But connecting to database is not that difficult, but it helps you to build your experience and, I mean, have something to demonstrate. Even if you are not in an organization, the moment you are in an interview and there's a conversation around this, you can say, while I don't have access to, you know, organization's data, I have simulated something like that in the past by installing Postgres SQL on my system and also connecting Power BI to it to just run some visualization. That's awesome. All right. Thank you and bye.